Greetings and welcome to the Tiger's Den. This is the voice of Cheryl and I am Toothless Tiger. Here I am with the eighth book from the library of Toothless Tiger. This is sure to be a good one. The Art of the Con. How to think like a real hustler and avoid being scammed. And it was written by R. Paul Wilson. The Art of the Scam is a very interesting book. A sucker is still born every minute. In this modern and interconnected world, con men are lurking everywhere and it's never been easier for them to dupe us take from us and infiltrate our lives. R. Paul Wilson is a con man who works for the other side, our side. He has spent a lifetime learning, performing, studying, and teaching about the ins and outs of the con world to open our eyes to the dangers lurking around us and to show us how not to get taken. Paul has never made a living as a con man, profiting off of marks. Instead, he has used his expertise to help people avoid cons. In this fascinating book, Paul takes the reader through the history and developments of the con game. How elements from past cons are based on basic human psychology and have stood the test of time. What has been updated for the modern era and how it's getting used in the computer age. The structure of how these cons work. And most important, how to recognize the con, protect yourself and your loved ones, and avoid becoming another, just another sucker. And he dedicated this to Julie, Connor, and Cameron for keeping me honest. We have the forward, and then we have part one, rap sheet. Chapter one, lessons in larceny. Chapter two, scams and scammers. Chapter three, the hook. Chapter four, the line. Chapter five, the sinker. Chapter six, the cool out. Interlude, true and false, Hollywood and the con man. Part two, inner secrets of the con game. Chapter seven, carnival of cons. Chapter eight, street got game. Chapter nine, life is short. Chapter 10, feel the hustle. Chapter 11, tricks baby. Chapter 12, cheating hearts. Chapter 13, Advantage Play. Chapter 14, Digital Deception. Chapter 15, Insecurity. Wise Up. A note on sources, acknowledgments, index, and about the author is on page 358. Part investigator and part performer, R. Paul Wilson is the world's foremost expert on cons and scams. His hit TV show, The Real Hustle, has run for 11 seasons on the BBC and has been syndicated in more than 45 countries. The show is studied by universities and law enforcement agencies to understand competence games. Paul has also starred in Take Down the Court TV and created, produced, and starred in Scammed for the History Channel. He has directed, consultant, and acted in films and TV shows, working with many A-list actors, including Sylvester Stallone, Jamie Foxx, Gabrielle Bryan, and maybe Byrne, and Jeremy Piven. Follow him on Twitter and it gives the Twitter address.
you can get the book you can get that address one of the world's leading con men and still celebrated expert on con games takes readers through the history of cons how they've been updated to the modern age how they work how to spot them and how to protect ourselves from being victims and these people that gave him a review here on the back have some last names that I probably can't pronounce too well. I'll do my best. So if I mess up your last name, you should happen to see this. Please forgive me. It's not on purpose. People need to be proactive to protect themselves. The world today is oversaturated with information and personal data that can easily find its way into the wrong hands. And his name is Frank Abagnale. And it could be Abagnale Jr., author of Catch Me If You Can. Number two, as a professional social engineer, I recommend this book as part of any person's library. Knowledge is power, and you get both with this book. And that's Christopher Hatnagy author and professional social engineer and third the only way to protect yourself from hustlers is to think like a hustler wilson's entertaining book shows you how and that's bruce schneider yeah i, I don't know if i pronounced his name right security technologist and author of liars and outliers enabling the trust society needs to thrive and fourth an invaluable and entertaining guide that shows how we can all be food and what to do about it and that's professor richard wiseman author of the luck factor so this is the book the art of the con there are many 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 cons in the world and there are many on the internet even in youtube and so it would be wise if you would purchase this book and again like i told you i don't always read the entire book at one time i pick things that are interesting to me and then i go and read that chapter so i would suggest to you guys to um do the same i want to thank you for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this review I'm going to be doing this on um, quite a few of my books, and I would um, hope that you would start purchasing books, because one thing we need to do as Americans, we need to get back to reading. Uh, reading is fundamental, and uh, we can know some of the things that others know, not necessarily because we went to school to get it, and what school does is teaches you how to train, how to learn, um, how to research. And that's a very good thing. But what you can do as an individual, as the book says, be proactive. You can teach yourself. Uh, you can read the same material. So I would suggest that you, as you hear these or look at these, share them and tell people, hey, maybe this is a good book you may want to be interested in or you may want to try this book. And um, I hope you would do that because knowledge is power. And one thing that we have to have in order to make it and navigate through the waters of treachery that's out here is we got to have power and it's called self-empowerment not power over others power over self self-discipline self-love self-strength self-power when you have that then you can help somebody else and as the book says that we all can be fooled and trust me, I've been fooled many times. But when you start educating yourself, doesn't mean that you're still not going to run into whatever you run into. But it means that you will be more aware and you will hear key words. Because words, as they call them, spelling are spells. And oftentimes we put them on ourselves. But we think someone else is doing something to us. So with that being said... I want to thank you for joining me. I want to ask if you would hit the like button, the subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and please um, share and leave a comment. It really helps. And 
as usual, I'm getting ready to leave the Tiger's Den. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day today. Today's Daylight Savings Time. And so hopefully everybody clocks went back like they were supposed to. And you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Hope to see you tonight. I will be on at 7. As I always say, I'm leaving the Tiger's Den. Goodbye. This video was made for education and entertainment purposes only. There's no malice or ill intent from the content creator. So please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great evening. Good night.